It's uh it's uh police wrapped around your finger with a bunch of random creepy mind control church signs. Like, you know <laughs> I kissed a girl I want what was I kissed a girl I went to hell. And I went to hell. Yeah. <laughs> no. Don't make your last trip to church one in a hearse or something like that. You know, it's all like death. And you're going to die. Give us money. These are all real signs, too. What was that one? When Jesus comes back, are you going to be here to change the sign? No, after the rapture. <laughs> who will change the sign? Will you? you know, are you going to be left behind? Fuck yeah, I'll change that sign. It's just total fucking mind control. And uh... Wait, shit, I missed the rapture? Damn it. <laughs> We all missed it. <laughs> damn it. What we, damn it. Also, that explains everything. Well, let's put it this way. Leftovers got renewed for a third season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear oh, my Lord. God. <laughs> so, that's so funny. So the real thing that's cool about this, I like talking about it because it's interesting to me. I'm sorry. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, don't say cool, man. That triggers me. <laughs> hey, fuck you. Listen to me. That's better, right? <laughs> there you go. Um, That's what I like. So I, I was, I've been kicking this idea around for a week or so. And you can click on this image. You got a bigger size of it. I can just, I can, I'll share, it. I'll share it. Um. <clears throat> Ooh, MK Vatican. <laughs> So the C should be capitalized. Oh my god! I just realized this is Vatican and not Vatican. Yeah, well, that's it's like plural for Vatican. Well, Vatican isn't a real word; it's a made-up word. It's taken from the like who? Fucking Jesuits, probably. I don't know. It was the probably. crypto Jew reptilian shills. I don't know. I don't know probably. who it was. I don't know. It, it was, was the avians. It was the blue avians. The cool thing about this was. <laughs> Grim Steak asked me to make him a Theresa May shirt that said, get your ass to Syria. And I made that for him, right? Um, that was hilarious. Yeah. And then I was thinking about it, and then I thought about this idea. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll put the Pope's head on Buzz Aldrin and change it to church. Get your ass to church. And I found this picture <laughs> of him at Stonehenge pulling this. So I did that, right? <laughs> and that's one layer. And then I found this cool sign that's red and blue. And that matched the red and blue of the shirt. And that's all, you know, the duality of our world, red, pl red pill, blue pill, yada, yada, yada. It's the duality we always see presented to us, which is often associated with Freemasonry. But I don't believe it's, it's more of a universal thing. But anyway, the background I wanted was a church getting struck by lightning. And I happened to find this picture, which I'm like, cool, it was big enough. It was uh, 3,300 pixels wide. And this is a 1080 picture, uh, 1080p picture. Anyway, so the, the, this bush and the church and the lightning are the real picture. Everything else is uh, you know, laid over it, like Stonehenge and the Pope. This was one picture. And then the sign I kind of inserted back here. Um, after I made it, I noticed that all the lightning bolts lined up. I know, that was so cool. But I didn't know, like, the colors, I didn't notice that when I picked the images. The, uh, the Boaz and Joachim symbolism within these two structures of this church with a triangle and a cross in the middle, uh, there's five, there's seven, nine. I mean, there's symbolism in all of this. So what I realized, and I realized this a while ago, but I see it more and more now, is that in my art I see patterns that are uh, relevatory, in a way, that re that echo back my sentiment. So if you listen to that song, what you'll is know... Is that a coincidence? I don't know. No, there's no such I, thing as coincidence. I don't think so either, dude. But, and the fact that you're picking up on these things must mean you're a fucking Freemason. <laughs> <laughs> I... But I would dude, never. Really He's like forty fourth degree. I would I, they would, easily. They wouldn't Maybe take me. They wouldn't take me. I would never <laughs> swear allegiance to an invisible man. 
Well, see, that's the thing. Your art is, you're picking up on fucking truth. And the fact that, yeah, maybe a secret organization did that a while ago. People are doing it now. They're realizing that the secret organizations did it. Did and you see the clocks at 9-11? Instantly de- demonizing. No, it's not. I'm kidding. Oh, there you're, you go. You're right. You're right. You are right. I was teasing about that. It's uh, 11.30 or 10.30. Or something. I don't know. That was just a Dude, snapshot when that went on. Why off. didn't you put it to 9 11? I didn't think about it. I didn't, like I said, <laughs> this was not. I spent the most time on this picture and it was like two hours. It took me two hours to do that. And. No, dude, it's fucking awesome. Like, that's all it needs to be. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> it was. <laughs> there's nothing in here that's bad. Nothing. In not your, at all. There, if you watch this, if a normal person reads it, those are a bunch of nice church signs, right? But that's not what people get triggered by this. It's fucking awesome. So what happens is, <laughs> so the software I have, I use a software called KDen Live. It's for Linux, right? And they have a, a thing where you can give it a folder and of pictures, and it will make a slideshow out of them just automatically. And it will do transitions between them, and you can do all kinds of shit, but I didn't do that. I took like I went through the web. I grabbed a bunch of pictures that I've actually seen on church signs around me, and some other ones that I hadn't seen, which I could tell were actual church signs. Threw them in this folder and said, "Make me a slideshow." It gives you like a whole track. Put it down in your. Have you ever used Premiere <laughs> or a video, nah. a multi-track video editor, a non-linear, non-linear video editing? Nah. to show you to try and explain it if you don't mind so, it's so you, hard to you ex- realize it's 8 30 right I don't give a shit. time is an illusion if you would like to stop <laughs> right I'm happy to stop anytime no that's a weird thing i'm surprised like because our energy is sustaining us i'm sitting in the sun and eating up sunlight so yeah dude the sun's out Oh man, the sun's not out yet for me. I learned something. White clouds in the sky. Um, recently, that you can absorb sun energy through your third eye, your Anya, such or whatever that's called. Oh, definitely. There's there was that whole thing where that dude, uh, I I don't remember where he's from exactly, but he was supposedly sustaining off of sunlight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the breath area. They took him in. Yeah, and they started actually measuring his the levels in his liver, mm. and they were fluctuating as if he was eating, but he wasn't eating. Oh wow, that's so cool! Yeah, it's it's like it's that's mind over matter right there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Absolutely, which is one of the first few episodes of Fringe makes that point. Just saying. Ah, so maybe it's all bullshit then. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So, or um, maybe they want you to think it's fucking bullshit, so you don't ever. Of course, it. that's what they want. And the thing is, you just have to work it out for your own because you're not going to get the answer out here. Even from us, we don't know what we're talking about. This is all, exactly. This is not. We are. On, this is all for entertainment we're, purposes we're only. All fucking hound dogs. Yeah. <laughs> we're on the trail of something we haven't quite found. We haven't figured out what we're looking for. I'm like a so, dog with the bone. The way this works. Yeah, exactly. We're looking for a bone. Can you see this? Yep. You got the, you got the good sniff of it. <laughs> and I can't stop till I get that fucker out. Can you guys see this? Yep. My right. screen? Oh yeah. Okay, this is a non-linear non-linear video editor. It has tracks, audio tracks that you construct audio it, it's time runs this way, right? And you lay a track down, Queeby video, and it'll play it in time. But I can pick it up and move it a little over here, say. Move this here. Mm-hmm. Nice. I can move shit around. It's a, I can cut. Imagine you have GarageBand. Yeah, it's exactly it. But it's with video and or sound. Or music editor. Or anything like that. Nice. Okay? So, this has add a slideshow, right? So, you can add a slideshow. I'll just show you this one I made. So, I'm excited. Where is that? Dude, why don't you start a podcast? Because I don't want to. What am I going yeah. to talk Fuck about? It. Who am I going to talk to? Exactly what we fucking talked about tonight. Just, and, you know, I don't know. have I don't, plans. Yeah. Well, that's kind of what I wanted. I don't know. I've, been th- I, I've thought about it for a long time, and 
people that I want to have on, or would, the people I would like to talk to, I've approached individually, and I wouldn't say befriended, but interact with. Well, you got to start somewhere. Well, that's how I started. Instead of starting a podcast, I started a personal relationship with people I want to talk to. That's the way to do it, man. Um, doing a podcast I mean, is yeah, good. But... A lot of the big podcasters now, especially conspiratorial wise, they you know made contacts. They had a few good guests on, and just kept on going from there. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to do it alone. <clears throat> I mean, you get the skills I, for. I don't want it to be just me. Thank you. I I'm down for that, dude. I got, I got a face for radio. I'll assist. I got a face for radio. <laughs> Shut <it>. up. <laughs> so, let me finish this. Let me. Let me finish. You've got up. a good voice for radio. I know. Sure. I keep they keep telling me that. My, I've got a bunch of friends who work for WSB in Atlanta, uh, specifically uh, Bruce. It was his birthday recently. I'm sorry, Bruce, if you ever listened to this, happy birthday. Um, Mark, he's like the traffic dude and the sports dude on TV channel on the news. My friend. Anyway, they always tell me you got a you got a great uh-huh. radio voice. You should do radio. Yeah. Anyway, Might as well. Might as well combine that knowledge with... If I could make that money, you know, if I could make what I'm making now or close to it, I would do it. But then I would have to beg for money. I don't want to do that. Anyway. You why make, not set as a, like start as a side thing? Yeah, I, I, I would like to. You're already doing stuff like this. Well, this is kind of maybe the first step in that direction. This could be part oh, of... Oh, yeah, you know, you're right, man. This could be part of kicking in the ass that I needed, you know? I'm, Hell Yeah. Trying to work on. I'm doing this crazily. Okay, so my slideshow is. Oh, which one is it? This is it. And you pick the frame duration. Did that come up? No, oh, it's a new window. You can't see it. Well, there's another thing. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is basically. It. I honestly think people just alone would find that interesting. The slideshow. How you're editing. Yeah, yeah because people videos? don't know how to do that shit. Well, people make videos on YouTube. I figure everybody knows how to do this. Not everyone. No. no. Okay, well, let me finish what I was my story because this is a synchronicity story. Let's hear it, bro. So, I, I picked all these images. See, part of the problem is that I have uh, my primary menu bar on the other monitor, and it's confusing. Projects. Flopsy's glad too. What did I call this? I can't find here. It's finger wrap. <laughs> so I made a, a slideshow folder and I put how many things are in here? There are 37 pictures in here. Okay. One, there's one picture that I made. It's the very first slide and I named it 000 shit I deal with dot JPEG, which you can't see. <laughs> okay. okay. So. The, I, by naming it 000, it puts it at the front of the picture list because it's alphabetical. Okay. And I yep. picked eight, go with zero. eight inches. I'm sorry, eight uh, seconds. Eight inches. Eight seconds per uh, transition or per slide with a two second transition. And that worked out to be to fit because I, what, what I did was I put the song in here and then I made it slideshow and look, oh, the slideshow is too long so i remade another one and i adjusted it until it fit the music okay i you know i filled it with the numbers the eight seconds and the one and a half second transition or you know a nine second display I, it was strictly to fit it into that space that was the only consideration and like i said it was all alphabetical by the name that it was downloaded from you follow me so far and then and then I made this cut because there's a line in the song. Can you hear this? Tell me if you can hear this. No? Nope. Nah, I can't hear it, unfortunately. I wish you could hear my sound. Why can't you hear my sound? Do I have to add another one? Ooh. How about this? No? Nope. No. Nope. What did it say about get off Facebook and into my book? Oh, God. God. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what what I do without God? I think I know what's going on. 
<clears throat> Too many sound controllers. On you guys know Mark Zuckerberg met with the Pope like a year ago, almost two years ago at this point. Yeah, what they talk about? The world may never know, <laughs> but the fact that they—I mean, it was when I started to purposely getting to watching news. And it was like a quick segment on the news. It was like pretty much, oh, in news right now, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg is meeting with the Pope. And then you never heard anything about it again. I was like, uh, I mean, yeah, I guess he is an influential figure considering he supposedly created Facebook, but he's meeting with the Pope. What the, what yeah, the exactly. fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Yeah. Francis must have had something to tell him that he needed to do. Just like Why Marco. not Francis? <laughs> <laughs> I have triggers. I have triggers. What can I say? <laughs> so, let me tell me if you can hear this. Nope. Oh, that sucks. I have no idea why you can't hear my audio. I can hear it. I can, I understand. Yeah, that's weird. Because it's supposed to capture. It doesn't matter. So anyway, I laid down that slideshow. It kind of fit. And there's a, the line in the song is, uh, Hypnotized by you if I should linger. So picture song, Sting singing. Hip, right when he says hip, I, I pop that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is tiny. I'm sorry. Why don't you tell me? What, I can see it? Oh, I can make it huge. Huge, like Trump. <laughs> it is pretty big. No. We can yeah, see I don't know what like you're saying. Why you're people. saying it's tiny. And then it says, look, about the oh, ring I'm on sure. my finger. Oh. Well, no one who's watching this can see what I'm talking about. How's that? You're watching the Hangout. If you looked at the video, it was tiny in the corner. Uh, Got it? Oh, yeah, I'm not watching the video. I'm well, watching yeah, the Hangout. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, in the Hangout. This is something I talked about the other night, but we didn't record it. And I, were, I wanted to tell everyone how I made it because it's interesting. So right at the line, he says, hypnotized by you, if I should linger, I cut in this picture of Francis throwing a hex or whatever he's doing. <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. And it just it fades out at the end to to the rest. Wait of a the, second. Yeah. Is that a white supremacist sign? Probably. <laughs> it's actually a Freemasonic sign. It's, a, it's two fingers up victory, but it's also the rabbit. Reverse, you know. With, Two genders. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Winston Churchill, whatever. He's doing multiple signs at the same time. He's, a Krako, he's like a fucking magi. He's a Draco, reptilian, <laughs> Sirius B, reptilian from... <laughs> the Dogon. The cult of Dagon. Oh, the cult of Dagon, that's what they are. The cult of, that's their god, Dagon. The fish god. Anunnaki, Dagon. whatever you want to call them. Anyway. Yeah, well, look at their hat. Whatever, it's a fucking construct. The, uh, they worship the archon, the archons. They worship the Dagon, the gods the of the Dagon, Dagon, the fish gods, the Anunnaki, the, the aquatic apes. I don't know what you want to call them. They're, I don't know what they are. Anunnaki. Anunnaki. Yeah. yeah. The, it's, Aren't they the ar archons essentially? No. If you no, believe they're in different. Narcissism? No, no, not at all. Nope. Those the Anunnaki have been inserted as the uh, overlords of the the kings and queens and they're from yeah, Nibiru. Those, those are the archons <laughs> in Gnosticism. Gnosticism. The archons are Gnosticism. Yal Yalda Boath. Ba yeah. yeah, they don't necessarily all have names. Well, if you want to go with like the but, Sophia birthing that and being the schism, oh, and, yeah, they talk about fuck Sophia. That shit. Well, I mean that's true well, on one a... level, <clears throat> but. That you could say that the arms of Yaldabaoth are the archons. But whatever, that's all fucking nonsense. Yeah. They're the security yeah. guards. It's not nonsense, but it's not relevant to right now. So, so definitely not. I took this slideshow clip, which was completely formulaic and built from a directory. And um, right here, I made a cut and slipped this in for whatever, however long eight seconds it is, right? And it fades out. So it goes back to the slideshow, and right after this point, I'll turn the volume down just because I can't hear it. Turn the volume down. Here we go. All right. 
right after this point, the music starts to sync up with the with the uh, signs, and they they change as uh, as the beats change. And right at this point, the line during the song he says, uh, "I'm run this." I have only come here seeking knowledge. knowledge. Then you get this sign. Yep, I loved that part. (laughs) And this is when at this point it starts to synchronize with the signs start to answer the lyrics. It's it's kind of interesting. And then at the third verse, it gets out of sync again, and it becomes a. an ang- like a, a sarcastic rebuttal, almost. <laughs> like this one is Mephistopheles is not your name, and this comes up. <laughs> you know, and that's a really deep statement to think about as a response to Mephistopheles is not your name. No kidding. Anyway, I've noticed a lot of the videos that I make in this manner have these synchronicities, and. Uh, for a while, when I, you know, lost my interest in UFOs and that kind of stuff, uh, I started investigating and researching synchromysticism and the sync media folks and um, talked to some of them, not as many as I would like. And uh, I, I started experimenting with my own. And the one that I did reach out to and communicate with was David Plate. He was a really cool dude, and I encourage everyone to seek out his material and check it out. It's really awesome. I have a video on my channel called Jack of Hearts that he made. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, that was really good. It's um, it's a movie called King of Hearts mashed up with L.A. Woman from the Doors. Like, start to finish kind of thing. And it syncs up completely, and it tells a completely different story, depending on how you look at it. You could look at it as a music video, or you could look at it as the music, as the video describing the music. You know, it's up to the viewer. But it... It all synchronizes, and it's all really crazy and cool. And I'm not going to give away the spoiler live because David would kill me. Anyway, I'm not that crazy. I'm not that fucked up in the head that I could sit there and go through all this music and find syncs or even look for it. But I know that these things occur naturally if you do things with the right intention. (laughs) Yep. So I didn't want to be preachy. I didn't want to do anything but show people what is there right in their face. I mean, it's I didn't make it into stuff up. These are actual church signs. And this is a police That's song. That's the way to do it, man. It's a police song. There's nothing in this video, okay, other than throwing the hex. That kind of, that threw the video <laughs> off, okay? Because I put that in here, these sinks occurred. <clears throat> and it makes... It honestly makes you wonder if you're just sinking into the ebb and flow and the reason why music especially is so important. Music's extremely important. And why why especially people musically get bought the fuck out and become slaves. Well, it's they're taking their energy. The creative sucking out their creative musicians, yeah. Creation. Exactly. But you get there's tons of people who are unbelievably talented who get nowhere. Why is that? Absolutely. What, yeah, they don't have a name that? that adds a 33, I guess. <laughs> In Chaldean or Pythagorean? <laughs> you know, Gematria. I, I don't know. To... Okay, anyway. Zachary Hubbard's Gematria. Gematria. I don't want to knock Zach. I like Zach. He's okay. He's just kind of... I do the too. Deep end. It just goes too far. Yeah. When you start calling people names, that's a problem. So anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. That's how I make these. I throw it onto a folder and I throw it all into like a fucking bucket and say make it this video i said that like to make it this video <laughs> and uh <laughs> that's how i did it and because i made that cut and put this eight second clip of fuckhead here with the throwing the hex i got those awesome sinks in here that made me laugh so hard that night <laughs> when i watched this for the eighth or ninth time because i always go back and watch it after i post it because <laughs> here's the other thing this is even weirder you're gonna go this dude is fucked up yeah i am I watch it on all my devices because <laughs> the rendering of the video isn't always in sync with the audio. So sometimes some devices produce a different synchronicity. 
There are varying less levels of synchronicity oh, within the video if you watch it on different devices. I have noticed that. That's interesting. That's the kind of high mind I am. So, yeah, that's what I do. That's how I make these things. It's kind of cool. Um, so why don't you have a podcast yet? Because I have nothing to talk about. Because <laughs> I don't want... Did I just hang up on everybody?